good morning guys this is kenzo extra hot forex uh, so let's go straight to nasdaq us 30 and gold guys so today it's wednesday so uh, let's go straight to that uh, we saw that uh, nasdaq was selling off and i was just happy uh, because actually the market uh, did exactly what I, I, I've talked about. I thought maybe the market will reach this area, uh, but I knew about this one here, and I said the market might reach like 15,000, and we reached there. I thought maybe we, the market will bounce back. Then you know what happened? The market kept going lower. So from this area, guys, it seems like we never had. Uh, it's not like a sell-off. Uh, uh, the sell-off was not strong as always because most of the time when this sell-off happens mostly the sell-off will just go crazy uh, before the market uh, retest re again i mean until the market before the market bounce back again but uh, you know things are different so what but you should be careful because here i'm using like four hour let's go to a four hour time frame uh for our time for rain let me turn this okay yeah so if you check if you check check this clearly guys you can see that we had this nice or oh, let me just remove these things they just disturbed me uh, okay you can see that we have this a uh, nice uh, resistance here which uh, it can be a support you can see that so from there you can see after this uh, resistance here the market went uh, lower uh, then after this is our lower low we can just throw that it's 14,500. the market tried to push up again so after that you see that at this area here we had like consolidation to show the respect uh, that uh, this is an area you see this is just uh, it's showing you the, the consolidation that this was a respected area then after the market just went high but because of the report then the market is now going lower again so let's draw that and see what really have uh, what's it what, what is really happening at, at, at those areas uh, let's check that it's here let's place it here so you can see that after this sell-off after the sell-off the market came back again it seems like it's respecting this as a support as a resistance again so it means there is a possibility that uh, the market can still push lower there is a possibility that the market can still push lower so if that doesn't happen because now we have this resistance if that doesn't happen it means we will wait for a breakout then we can call it a nice buy again but if that doesn't happen obviously we have two options uh, whether to sell if it's respected because i also see a bearish candlestick here you can see that the red one there so it might it might be a sign because we have like one two three four four candlesticks and they are all like four hour time frame so it means there are so many candlesticks that just respected that area it means we might see another sell-off you see so to see that clearly let's just start with two hours a uh, two hour five time frame to see that uh, what i'm talking about it's a really like you see I just want to, to see both sides so you can see that okay on two hours this area it's respected you can see even this side this area is respected and there are so many candlesticks so there's possibility that the market can still go lower but where will uh, be uh, our support be so now we have a clue sorry we have a clue that the market just bounced here it means the market respected this area we can just draw maybe a, a support line there so if maybe the market respect uh, i mean respect this resistance we can expect the market to come here and bounce back this is an evidence that the market came here and bounce so 
this will be the next area that we're going to look at because if i still remember uh, i've thrown something like this and say if maybe the market is creating some a sell-off we can expect the market to reach here but the market uh, did not sell like crazy so we have an area it's 14,800 then that will be our area and like 14,980 it's also a resistant area so the market can play around these zones you see so let me zoom that a little bit so here actually it's quite simple i think it's very very quite simple you just throw your your resistant and your support if the market you see the market respecting this area it means we can see a sell-off but i can advise other people out there don't maybe yeah yeah let me just keep quiet with that you can sell if you want to if it's respecting this area but remember around this area the market can still bounce back again if the market reaches the year you can then buy around this area but this is what i'm expecting i expect to buy when it reaches the year or maybe if we see a breakout here a small retest that can be a nice one we can just buy uh, after that after a breakout you see so yeah that's all on nasdaq i'm just waiting for those things to happen only whether the market will go up or break here that's what i'm waiting for no complications no 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 like no like uh, so many complications that I, I need to follow so only simplicity will help you in the market but remember it seems like here it's also a resistant so you should take care of that you should look at that but there's possibility that we can see another sell-off it's also possible but at the moment it seems like the market is trying to recover or maybe that will happen like uh, when the market opens you see so for before let's go to us testing before i show you that let me show you some good stuff uh, guys for those who want the system uh, it's limited to 20 people why because there will be a robot that is going to be shared with these people so only 20 people uh, to get the system it's only 35 dollars it's for mt4 this system will give you like uh, signals for anything gold uh, nasdaq 100 us state whatever it will just give you currency pairs it will give you here are my contacts uh, here is my email paper if you need your space please talk to me it's limited to 20 people so i'm hoping people will join this because the robot is actually powerful and the system is also powerful only 35 dollars so yeah enjoy or you can enjoy your limited your unlimited uh, signals at your own time you see so yeah that's what i wanted to show you uh, let's close that so let's go uh, straight to next uh, us 30 yeah here we are on us 30 so it seems like us 30 has been respecting this support but it's time to remove that and see what we can get on a bigger uh, picture or on a different uh, view so on a four hour time frame we can say maybe we have this higher uh, point here that we can try to connect we don't have to force that let's try to connect that yeah it seems like something like that we can also try to connect this lower lows then maybe we will get something like that so let's try that on a perfect line and see if maybe we can get that so guys if things they don't move the way you think or the way you want try try to clear your chart and start afresh i think do you see what i'm seeing guys it seems like remember this is not supposed to be perfect uh, but what i'm seeing now it seems like uh, a a good thing i it seems like a, a perfect line do you see what i'm seeing guys i hope you see that uh another thing let me show you what i see i see something like this i don't know if you see that i see something like that maybe someone can say i also saw something 
like this i also saw something like this here i don't know if that will go into connect but let's try that uh let's see let's try and see so why i am doing this i just want to show you how we end up uh, you end up getting the nice the nice trans lines guys this is how you get the line the nice trans line then after it's where you go you can just call this your inner trend line or you can just totally remove that so here here you can see we have like this type of a shape so it's like the market is now going longer and longer you see that so actually what we can we do here we can sell or we can buy in in this type of structure so but the thing is we need to already be just because we saw this type of structure it's like it's going up but on the lower like uh, support it's like actually it's a downtrend you see so let's try to see if when it's a good time to sell and when it's a good time to buy so let's uh, check that i'm going to use a bit smaller time frame why because i need to connect my lower uh, points here when i say the lower points here i'm talking about something like this something like this 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 they need to be connected together before we can say now it's time to sell and see what we can get it's time we can start from here it's fine okay don't i think you see what i'm seeing guys so you can just put a cherry on top uh, the second one and say you know what if the market breaks this one i'm going to sell why because this area is being respected for several times now so it means and th remember it's two hours even if let, let me just take that to a, an hour maybe you will see how many candlesticks are there you see so here it is guys you can see i tried to connect everything so what do you do from here we have a structure on a bigger time frame you saw that so here it's a bit smaller time frame but it's a very a closer look what do we do from this part from this part actually what we do is we just we, we don't do anything we waiting for the market to break our resistant then we can take a buy or we can just wait for the market to break the support if the support is broken it's where we're going to say now it's a very nice time to sell you can just get it maybe on a first candle when it's just uh, closing below the support or maybe you can just wait for your retest then you can get your market there then you start to eat so it means what you can do here is just wait for the market to do its thing whether we break in whether we break in the support it's also fine but you, you you already know what you want to do you know you want to sell if the market breaks here or the, when the market breaks above so these are the types of the decision that you should have every day don't just say maybe you just want to buy firstly confirm if the market do this then i will do this if the market does this i will do this you see unless maybe if you're a scalper you're just buying around here then it's also fine guys there is no problem because we have different strategies people they have different strategies and they those strategies actually works for them so this is also uh, the one that i'm using i'm not saying yours won't do exactly what you want but i'm saying you should have something that you can confirm breaking here then support sorry retest sell breaking the the, the, the resistant retest then you buy then you're done don't complicate things your chart should be as clean as possible so that you don't get confused but when we go to a bit bigger time frame you will see what i'm trying to show you here we still have the structure it means when you sell here when you sell here actually your trade profit should be around like 33,800. this around here but if we break our resistance 
Uh, anyway, guys, you can just do your risk ratio, whatever, one is to two, whatever, something like that. So, because here we don't have a, any structure, it means the market can just go anywhere. So, it means you should just place your take profit at a reasonable point or you can just trail your profit. Simple as that. So, take profit around here and here it will depend on, uh, on the stuff. Uh, on, on, on your risk ratio guys so but in here you will be looking at this gap here you can eat very nicely on this position so yeah I think uh, for US data for today for US data for today uh, that is the idea for, for today so let's check gold guys and see what we can expect you know gold has been consolidating guys it's been consolidating and I don't really like this uh, because uh, it's not a good thing to to follow at the moment so it's a good thing for as i'm using also the robot the robot uh, is doing its job here because actually the market uh, the robot wants something which does something like this it's a buy sell buy sell so when it moves like this actually the robot is just creating uh, some nice profits but if you do the following like we do uh, like we trade with support, resistant, trends line, stuff like that. So this is like boring because we, you don't have a, a nice position where you can just place your things. So let's try to get uh, this uh, to a bit smaller time frame. Yeah, I think this consolidation is quite easy. Or maybe let me just remove this. It's been there for some time now. So let's just say, okay, now just look at the new structure let's say maybe maybe it's new let me just remove that okay let's just try to connect this one this one this one then okay we have in a down trend structure which we have also a support here so we just have to look this in a different angle because it's been playing around with us so we never had some good trades for gold uh, which i don't like so guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button don't don't forget to smash that um let's see yeah you can just do something like that but it's it's uh, it's not a good thing because you, we already know what's really happening on a bigger picture so here actually here here we also have a support i hope you can see that you can see around this area or let me use what uh, i use normally so that you i don't clutter my chart yeah something like this so this one should be dotted yeah it's something like this so for gold you can see that we are in this wedge actually this is a support so around this wedge the market is just playing around with us so which means for us to buy or to sell we have to get out of this the market has to break this or i mean it has to break this resistance or this support before we can say now it's time to eat but at the moment it means we are not eating we can eat on other things guys so you can just draw your trans line like that then any breakout you can take it whether it's breaking the resistance or support then you can say now it's time to eat on gold but at the moment it's still uh, playing around but i know when it breaks this resistance or support we're going to see a crazy move the whole week will, they will be talking about gold they will be saying no it's creating the new whatever it's creating a new high higher highs uh, stuff like that so yeah i think uh, for today guys we done please don't uh, don't don't forget to, to subscribe if you want to be in the group check my description we have like 15 dollar uh, special for nasdaq us 30 and gold it's one time payment uh, it's only signals guys if you want to be like on a vip where we trade nasdaq gold s p 500 all those good things currency pairs 
it's only $25. If you want to get the system, only for 20 people is $35 and you also get a robot. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. Bam.